Hello, welcome to a free video from adulthomeeducation.com. You can get us at 773-417-9543, where we have live online GED classes and study hall. The study hall is great because if you want to just pop in and visit while you're studying and ask a teacher questions, it's awesome. And the teacher's live and always there and can answer your questions right away. Now, this is a recording, but this is sort of like because we have a board in the online classroom, too. So we're going to talk a little bit about reciprocals in algebra, but before we do that, we have to have a little bit of algebra background. So I'm going to take you through really quickly as I can uh, the, the different symbols for m multiplication. And so I want to talk about the x. There's an x here, but this is not really an x because it's times for this particular meaning. Then there's the parentheses, which if you put a, a um, number next to a parentheses, it's time, or 4a or 4x, like in algebra. And what's all this a, x, b, c, d, e, f, d in algebra? We'll talk about that in a little bit. <laughs> but anyway, this is, and then there's a little dot in the middle. That's also a time symbol. So like 2 times 3 equals 6, 2 times 3 equals 6, 2 times 3 equals 6, and 2x equals 6. So just so that you're aware of how that works, that the 2x means 2 times x. Now, what is this x and the a and the b, you know? It just means there's some number. We don't know what number it is. That's why we're making it x. Now, that's why they had to find a different symbol for times. Because if we wrote down 2 times x equals 6. There would be confusion there. I know I would be confused. <laughs> and I got to tell you, I looked online, you know, just to see what was out there about reciprocals, and I was like, oh my gosh, it was so complicated. You know, it's that mathematical thing, like they have to use all those technical mathematical words, and, and it was so easy, and I thought, oh my gosh, I better do a video. So anyway, 2 times x. So they wanted to do it a different way. So you could write it 2 times x with a little dot in the middle like that. Or you could do 2x. And we don't need the parentheses because it's an x. Obviously, if we did 2 and then 3, that would be 23. So we wouldn't understand that at all. So we don't want to ever do that. But we don't have to use the parentheses for times when we have a symbol, like an x or an a or a b. Now, let's do the regular way first. If we said 2 times what equals 6? we would know what this is, right? This would be a 3 because we know our multiplication tables or some of them anyway, right? Sometimes I can't remember all of them. But 2 times what equals 6? Well, we know that's 3, right? Well, we're going to figure that question out, but algebraically, OK? So let's do 2x equals 6. Now, the x stands for I don't know what. It means, I don't know, 2 times something equals 6. Well, we could figure that out. We could, you know, there's so many ways we could do it, right? But the algebraic way is that we want to leave this x by itself. Okay, so if we have 2 times x, if this means 2 times x right here, what is the opposite of times? What's the opposite of multiplication? Like, if I asked you what's the opposite of addition, that would be subtraction. So the opposite of multiplication is division. So in order to get this x by itself, we are going to do the opposite of, of multiplication, which this is, and we are going to divide. Now, in case you didn't know, this right here, 2 over 2, this is a division sign. I always thought it was a fraction, 
but this is a division sign. All fractions are division problems. It's crazy. This means 2 divided by 2, which is 1, right? So it also means, and here's some mathematical terms, the numerator, which is the top number of a fraction, and the denominator, which is the bottom number of a fraction, if those are both the same, it always equals 1. So if you have 972 over 972, it's hard to draw with my mouse, um, that's 1. So if the numerator and the denominator are the same, always equals 1. So 2 divided by 2 is 1, right? And 1x is the same as x, because 1x means 1 times x. And what's 1 times x? x. So now we have a problem. We have an equal sign here that's really important. That means whatever we do to this side, we have to do to this side. I'm kind of running out of room here. Small board. Because otherwise it wouldn't be equals. If we divided 2 over here and we didn't over here, it wouldn't be equal. But this sign says it has to be equal. So therefore we have to divide 6 by 2. So with how many times does 2 go into 6? You got it, 3 times. So the answer is x equals 3. Now, if you get that, you can go on to the next video. <laughs> and we'll talk about reciprocals. And that would be something, a question like this. 1 third x equals 7. And we have to find out what x is. So we're going to do it a different way. Okay, so that's where the reciprocal comes in. Now, if you're confused and you want to take a class and you want to do more about fractions in the beginning of GED Math, just give us a call and sign up. We have an online study hall that is $25 for 120 minutes with the teacher. It's just like a cell phone. You can use those minutes anytime you want. It's pay as you go so you don't have to borrow a lot of money or anything and you can get help whenever you want within a month. You can work for three minutes, you can work for ten minutes with the teacher as long as you want. We'll see you again. See you soon. I hope that was good and go to the next one. It's reciprocal two. <laughs> okay, bye.